Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're gonna discuss turn in oversteer in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Oversteer on corner entry can be a real pain and can mess up your race quite unexpectedly. So in today's video we're discussing the causes of turn in oversteer, analyze it with the Track Titan platform and we'll talk about how we can solve it. And you can analyze your own driving for free on tracktitan.io and you can get a ton of free extra insights when you sign up using code SPIN. Be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss our weekly sim racing guides that help tons of sim racers get faster. And for now, let's get into it. Oversteer can really catch you off guard when you expect to turn a certain amount but your car has other plans. In the best case scenario you counter steer a little and you keep the car on track but in the worst case you spin out. One thing is certain though, both of these situations lose you a ton of time. Now there are several reasons why you might be struggling with oversteering as you turn in the car. The main one that we see over and over again is staying on the brakes too heavily, too deep into the corner. By combining the cornering and the braking forces, you're just spending too much of the grip of the unloaded rear tires. The weight of the car starts to pivot around the front tires, which causes you to go into a spin. Another reason for turn in oversteer is coming off the throttle too quickly during turn in. This shifts the weight of the car to the front as well and can also send your car into an unexpected spin. Now let's head over to Track Titan and analyze this spin. So here we are on the Track Titan platform in the first corner of Alton Park. And we're taking a look at why we had a nasty bit of turn in oversteer on that corner entry. Our data is shown in orange while the reference lap is shown in blue. Now when we just take a look at what is happening coming into the corner, we see that we both get hard on the brakes, but the major difference we see here is that while we get deeper into the corner, we see that the reference lap driver is actually coming off of the brakes while we're still on the brakes, which means there's too little grip for turning. And we actually try to save it by braking even more, meaning there's even less grip and we continue down this death spiral into a spin and we end up on the grass. When we take a look at the braking chart here, we see that we, the orange driver, get on the brakes too heavily and we don't come off of them early enough, resulting in us losing traction, trying to regain it by braking even more, uh, which makes the situation even worse and this results in us ending in the grass. Now that we know what caused this turn in oversteer, let's talk about how we can actually fix this. As we've discussed earlier, you'll experience oversteer because there's not enough grip to slow down the car and turn it into the corner. So logically, the easiest solution is to ease up off the brakes a little, so your tires can use some of the grip for the actual turning part. Now if you're struggling with oversteer when you lift off the throttle, learn to take your foot off the gas in a more gradual way, so the balance of the car is not disturbed all of a sudden. Now if you try this and you're still overturning continuously, then you might want to take a look at your brake bias. The brake bias determines how the braking is distributed between the front and the rear wheels. The grip of your front tires is increased during braking, so they have a lot more grip, which means they can be tasked with a little more of the braking duty than your rear tires. So by shifting the brake bias somewhat more to the front, you might be able to get rid of that nasty turn in oversteer. But beware that if you shift the brake bias too much to the front, you'll start experiencing a lot more understeer. We hope you've learned something from this video. Let us know in the comments down below if you still have some questions for us and head over to tracktitan.io to see how analyzing your laps can make you faster for free when you sign up using promo code SPIN. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.